y'all welcome back to the browse bunch or welcome if you're new here today i've got a walmart grocery pickup haul for you can't remember how much the total is so it'll be on the screen right here did get quite a few things that weren't groceries too so i'll kind of break that down probably like our grocery budget and the toiletries or whatever else that we stick into that kind of a budget so we are a family of four if you're new here and we try to stick to around 130 125 a week for our family um, and I will be including the prices and the meal plan as well I feel like it's been a while since I've done a grocery haul I think we kind of actually skipped a whole week of getting groceries when the kids were sick it just we just didn't get around to it and we did fine without so I don't know probably ate out a couple times too many though but we did good um, so saved a little bit of money last week and that's good because I just you know did a Sam's Club haul for the first time and that wouldn't have, I mean, we would have been over budget if so, so it worked out. So I guess kind of we got groceries, but it wasn't actually for meals and stuff. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on into the grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like grocery hauls, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already. Over here on the end, we've got some bread, normal loaf of bread, and then the cinnamon bread that I love, just with some butter toasted in the toaster. A few different cheeses here. We've got mozzarella, Italian style, that's for a recipe specifically and for the life of me I could not tell you what recipe it's for right now oh well and then one night we are going to do like a snacky type of supper um so I did I don't usually buy these like pre-cut things but I went ahead and did it because I thought it'd be fun and if we're going to do it for a meal it kind of just makes it worth it for me so I got a little cheese tray the Cracker Barrel ones that have like four different types of cheese then we've got some summer sausage here and we'll probably do some like veggies, carrot sticks, and that sort of thing with it as well. Got some feta cheese that I like to do with my salad, which I'll show you the salad mix that they gave me um, in a little bit. It's on the other end of the table. Ugh, disappointed a little bit. We've got some sour cream, the Danimal smoothies that the boys love. I'm going to make some, what's it called, spinach and artichoke dip. Um, I've made it before and I actually think I have a video of it. And it's really good. So I'm going to make that again. We haven't had it in a while. So I've got the artichoke hearts green chilies the spinach is for that oh <laughs> that's what the italian style cheese is for i'm pretty sure we got a box of brownie mix honestly box brownies is my favorite prefer it probably over homemade i think i've only ever made them like once so maybe that's why but just you can't beat box brownie mix and this is my favorite kind is the duncan Hines ones we've got some crackers oh yeah that's going to be for the little snacky thing too the Ritz crackers. We really didn't need any more cereal, but I saw this on the app and it's new. It's this Crave, which we love the Crave cereal anyway. That's like chocolate filled. <laughs> it's terrible. We don't get it that often, but this is the chocolate chip cookie dough kind. So I thought that would be fun to try. We've got some muffins, chocolate chip muffins and wild berry muffins. We all really enjoyed the last time that I did the muffins. I do like the bigger ones the, of the wild berry ones because that's the ones that I love and then I usually do a bunch of the little mini muffins of the chocolate chip. I've got some hot dogs, three of our favorite steamable broccolis to just have on hand. I mean if you follow me on Instagram you saw when Porter recently asked for broccoli for breakfast and he's done that like once or twice since then too um, and yes I did give him broccoli for breakfast when he asked because that is like the only healthy thing that he likes so of course I'm gonna give it to him when he asks. Um, so we needed to make sure we had plenty of that on hand. Back here we've got some chocolate chip waffles. We've got some pinto beans. We're going to do beans and cornbread one night. And then I've got some dressings here. I got the Olive Garden Italian one. And then the Skinny Girl one is like my favorite one for um, like a Greek salad or with just with some cucumbers and feta cheese, that sort of thing. So I got the balsamic vinaigrette. Then we just needed some sauce on hand just in case. You know because I've always got pasta on hand but not the sauces so I got some four cheese sauce and marinara and I almost got like an alfredo but after making my own and it's just gotten really easier the more I've made it it's just that's what we prefer and it's not really hard at all to whip up really quick so I didn't get a, a alfredo one which I used to get them all the time and never make my own sauce but after making it so many times it just doesn't it's not the same. Got some of these good looking mozzarella sticks, mainly just because they're out of the dollar ones and the, uh, what are they called? The Farm Rich brand or whatever they are. Um, they were out of those too. So I decided to try these TGI Friday ones, even though they're usually the most expensive, I'm pretty sure. Got some croissants. Then we've got a bag of onions and a red onion. Got some potatoes to do some air fried potatoes because 
they're easy and we love them and then some cosmic brownies this is like my favorite favorite kind of little debbie thing is the cosmic brownies and it always has been chocolate milk regular milk brioche buns which are our favorite for pretty much anything but we're going to do burgers this time with it and hot dogs for the boys because they don't really care for burgers great i'll eat a burger sometimes but porter hasn't even wanted one yet then we got some frozen tater tots just to have on hand and y'all this salad mix it is like it is slimy do you see that that is gross like who picked that out and i'm pretty sure it's not sealed either like the air was coming out of it so i'll have to say something about that that is really nasty like ew would you eat that because i feel like mm -mm. i'm really picky about salad anyway and i'm like i want to want salad but then I don't every once in a while I'll be wanting one and I do right now <laughs> and then when you get it like this it's just like no nope, why do I even try <laughs> and then the last actual grocery item that we got was um, a big 40 count thing of waters then non groceries got a um, four pack of tissues Kleenex whatever because you know since the kids just got over being sick we ran through them and I just like to have them on hand so got a four pack to keep handy case we need them because you never know when the sickness is going to strike um got some more kids toothpaste for the boys they're running out probably because they overuse it if you ever you know if you've got kids you know what i'm talking about they just pour a gallon on one little tiny toothbrush head <laughs> get it everywhere but it's cool then i got myself some aussie shampoo this is my favorite kind to use like i have pretty oily hair and throughout the years i've had to there's been a lot of shampoos that i'll use and they only worked for like a month or two and then i have to switch it and like you know the cycle keeps going but the one that i always went back to and that would last the longest with my hair was this aussie and i've used this one for probably a few years straight now without having to switch it and it still works great so that's what I use for that and then the um, for dry shampoo in between washes I still wash my hair every other day pretty much almost always sometimes I can go an extra day but that's pretty much what I do <laughs> and then in between I use the Batiste dry shampoo in case you're wondering you probably weren't but I gave you that info anyway <laughs> and then um, at what point do you buy kids actual soap this is probably the stupidest question but I just love this stuff and it smells really really good so I got some more of it um grit uses kids shampoo or soap sometimes but it's like always three in one and that I don't know the shampoo conditioner and soap which I did buy them some shampoo also but they were out of it so um I only got this one that I got but it's the vanilla oat wash and it just smells really good so yeah so that is everything I got this Walmart grocery pickup trip haul <laughs> um now let me show you the meal plan real quick for the meal plan i think i already mentioned that one in the haul when i was talking about that but it's the snacky meal with the summer sausage crackers cheese and veggies then we're going to do beans and cornbread one night this is a really easy week of meals which i'm excited about always love simple and easy in here um we've got the hamburgers and hot dogs i think we're actually going to do that tonight because i actually remembered to thaw out some ground beef so gonna use it before I forget about it. <laughs> this camera is having such a hard time focusing lately. Then we've got chicken. I'm just probably gonna cut it up and season it and stick it in the air fryer. I haven't done that in a while so I'm gonna try that out again with the roasted potatoes and then some green beans. Then taco pasta salad and I'm pretty sure I just smeared that. Darn. <laughs> you usually have to wait a little like about at least 30 seconds to let this dry but I clearly smeared it. But yeah taco pasta salad then always we pretty much always do a fin for yourself and and or leftovers night and then we almost always do a takeout night each week as well so that is our meal plan for the week hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one hope you guys have a good day